Hi, this is Gary with Mac Modes Now. On today's episode, let's look at how to add a watermark behind your page's documents. So let's say you want to put some text or a graphic behind your page's documents. Say something that says draft or confidential. It's a pretty common need. Let's take a look at how to do it. Okay, so here I am in pages and I've got some sample text in place. Now I want to add the big word draft behind all this text. So let me start by creating a text box here, entering the word draft into it. And I'm going to make this a pretty large box here. You can see it's pushing all of the text behind it out of the way. I'm going to take care of that in a second. I'm going to change the font size to something pretty big like that. I'm also going to change the color to say a light gray such as that. And now I'm going to bring up the inspector here. And with the inspector I'm going to choose how everything wraps around this box. I'm going to make it a background element. You can see now it falls into the background very nicely. Uh, it's not going to cause anything to wrap. I'm also going to make sure background objects are selectable so I can select this background element and manipulate it. Let me change the view here. Go to 50% so I can see the entire page. Let's select this background element. Uh, let's do some things. Let's uh, center it. So I'm going to use that to center it. I also want to rotate it. So I'm going to go over here to metrics and I'm going to rotate it. 45 degrees, create a nice angle like that. Now I'm going to put it in the position I want and I'm going to option drag it to get another copy of it. This copy I'm also going to have to go into the wrapping and switch it to background. But the result is I've got two copies now uh, there in the background so it kind of covers the entire document. But the problem I've got here is that these items are only on the first page. You can see they're not on the other pages. I want it to be across the entire document. So I'm going to select the first one, hold the shift key down and select the second one. Then I'm going to go to Format, Advanced, and Move Objects to Section Master. And now you can see it repeats for the entire section. There's only one section in this entire document. So it's there for everyone. I can add more pages to it and that will be under it. The same would be true if I would put a image there and make that also a background image or anything else I'd want to put back there. So you can use this for all sorts of things. You can put draft, you can say confidential, uh, you can put some other identifying information back there, you can put some sort of image back there, make it kind of a subtle image. You can put something that doesn't fill the entire document but simply is in a corner of it and repeats throughout the entire thing. So I hope you found this useful. Until next time, this is Gary with Mac Most Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.